Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be reading level 100 out of the back rooms. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival difficulty, class undetermined. Mysterious properties, unknown information, undocumented entities. Level 100 is the 101st level of the backrooms. Level 100 is a thin line of a beach, surrounded by an ocean on either side of the path. Level 100 is comprised of a straight path of sand with an infinitely expanding ocean. The sand looks smooth with the path itself going on for an unknown amount of time. For the singular explorer that traveled here, however, the sand trail does seem to have an end or start point. While going along this trail, one can occasionally encounter random objects. The objects will likely be personal belongings like cell phones, photos, articles of clothing, other small items that would be carried by an individual. Information on this level is limited due to only having been explored at once. From the information learned, it seems that going far enough down the beach trail eventually leads to the occasional gravestone. Carved on each one is a drawing of a face. Although each drawing is childish and rudimentary. The explorer described them as looking calm though, and though they're at peace, as well as faces. All the headstones have dates on them. It's currently unknown why they're there, but they are theorized to be the date of death, given that they're on a memorial. Both sides of the ocean and of level 100 are infinite, as even after swimming for multiple minutes, the explorers say that the horizon never changed and the ocean just kept on expanding outwards. After taking some time to recuperate, the explorer decides to dive into the ocean depths. The ocean was mostly featureless, comprised entirely of sand. One can get clear visibility under the water, which easily displays the endless descent of the ocean floor. All comprised of nothing but sand, which eventually solidifies and clubs into rock. Bases, outposts, and communities. There are no known bases, outposts, or communities on this level. The shadow is an entity that is viewable only in one's peripheral vision. Although there have been reports of the shadow on many levels in the back rooms, the main residence for the entity is the to be level 100. Although it was initially believed to be invisible, new research has shown that the entity has extremely sophisticated camouflage, being able to accurately mask itself in the environment to the point where seeing it is almost impossible leaving only its shadow visible. Hmm. Make entry log 8872, date October 31st, 2018. Interviewer, Alex Patter. Interviewee, Holly Clove. Begin interview. So, could you explain what happened, Miss Clove? Well, I was in level 11. I was just going around on my own. Ex everything seemed to fine until I heard some chatter on the road. I was curious because I thought it was you guys speaking, but it turned out to... Well, it wasn't anyone Meg. It was some different group. So they started chasing me for whatever reason. I started to run. I didn't want to enter any of the buildings because... I cut the club off. We know. Just explain what happened. Not to be rude, but we're ex interested by your discovery. Right. Well, after being chased a while, I decided that I could just play dead. In hindsight, it was a terrible plan, but I thought it'd be worth a shot. I got outside out of them and for only a few seconds, and use it as a chance to like sprawl it out on my stomach. I was near those faces guys too, so I only assumed the attacking people thought I was killed by that. And then what? After that they just left, but I was already they were tricking me. 
It seemed it did seem like too much of an easy win. After laying there for a while, I felt something pick me up. Before I had a chance to react, ice was stood on a thin strip of sand. There was some water either side, and it was all very bright and warm and tropical. I I also couldn't see what took me, but I think it was some shadow creature, maybe. Did you find anything there? Mm hmm. As I walked, there were random items on the beach. I didn't pick them up, but there were pictures of people, phones, whole bits of clothes, and some other stuff like lighters. Just stuff people would carry, you know? Anything else? There were some headstones the further I went. They didn't have names, only calm and relaxed faces and dates. It was weird. I didn't touch anything. You mentioned a thin strip of sand. Was there anything else there? Yeah, it was all just water. I went for a strip just going outwards for multiple minutes. I saw no change in the horizon. It was just ocean. And forever. I took some time to get my energy back and then dived down. The, the seabed just went down forever and all that sand just became rock. It was actually really clear under there too. How'd you get out? Well, after I got out and I got a quick photo, I decided to walk around a little more. After a few s it was hours, I got really thirsty, so when I found a bottle, I was pretty happy, so I picked it up. So I picked up the water bottle on the beach, only to be grabbed by the sides and taken to level zero. Anything else, miss? Uh, nope, that's all. Well, thank you, Miss Clove. That's all now. End of interview. Hmm. Entrances and exits. Entrances. The only true way of entry is currently unknown. Since any attempts to recreate the original way inside have proved fruitless. N nevertheless, the previous way of entry was to play dead until the shadow transported you to level 100. The first time this happened was on level 11. Exits. To leave, one has to tamper with the objects and presumably gravestones scattered along the beach. Doing so will attract the prize of the shadow, who would then transport you to level zero. And that's level 100. Not really a good fate either way. As far as we can tell, going there will just simply return you to the tutorial, which is really weird. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!